Dr. Hathaway. Susan. I solved the power problem, Jerry. Jerry? Take a cab. So you'll hammer later. As you know, Mitch and I were working on the cyanide system. Well, earlier today, it ate itself. But these little setbacks are sometimes just what we need to take a giant step forward. Right, Kent? Needless to say, I was a little despondent about the meltdown. But then, in the midst of my preparations for Harry Carey, it came to me. It is possible to synthesize excited bromide in an argon matrix. Yes, it's an eczema, frozen in its excited state. Th that's impossible. It's a chemical laser, but in solid, not gaseous form. Put simply, in deference to you, Kent, it's like lasing a stick of dynamite. As soon as we apply a field, we couple to a state that is radiatively coupled to the ground state. I figure we can extract at least 10 to the 21st photons per cubic centimeter, which will give one kilojoule per cubic centimeter at 600 nanometers, or one megajoule per liter. That's hotter than the sun. It's small. It's supposed to be small. Of course, we only have the one sample, and it's going to destroy itself as it lasers. But everything's going to be fine. Isn't it, Mitch? Yeah. This is a complete waste of time. Do me a favor, Kent, and uh, put the target in front of the cinder blocks, will you? Okay, Mr. Taylor. Anytime you're ready. Okay. Ready? Laser on. Sir. And the trees across the quad. What a team. <laughs> yeah. You did it. I did my part too. You graduate. You get the job. What? You can't. That's my job. I've done everything you ever asked me to. You can't do this. Look, look. I teach your classes for you. I, I, I get your laundry. What is he doing? Look. I'm out of the optics for the phase conjugate target tracking system. Now look at this mirror. Look! Look! Wait. Wait. Let's celebrate! Absolutely. Oh. <laughs> you see anything unusual on the campus? 